Hello everyone, thank you for watching another I Cook and Paint. Today's episode is once more coming from Toronto Island where my Tuesday night class and I hopped on this great big boat here and we came over pretty much just to paint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make something a little bit different. This is grilled lemonade. It sounds weird, I know, but grilled lemonade is actually tastier than regular lemonade. This stuff has a more pungent, lemony flavor to it with a little hint of caramel and smoke that you're going to love. So you want to start off by making a simple syrup. And you do that by taking the rinds off two lemons. Try not to leave a lot of the white pith on there because that can make your lemonade bitter. So just drop your lemon rinds into a pot like you see here. Now you want to add in two cups of cold water and a quarter cup of sugar. Now if you want to add some herbs to your lemonade, now is the time to do it. So you can use rosemary, mint, thyme, basil, whatever you want. I'm just going to add in a few fresh mint leaves. Rubbing them first will help release a lot of their flavor. So now you want to take this over to the stove and bring it to a boil over medium high heat. Once it comes to a boil, you want to reduce the heat and let it simmer for 5 minutes. This is going to release all the flavor from the rind and the mint. So now you can just set this aside and take the two lemons that you just peeled and cut them in half. Now I have here a little bowl of sugar and I'm going to take each lemon half and really generously dip it in. The more sugar you can get on these lemons, the better they're going to caramelize when they're grilled. I ended up dipping them three times so they'd be nice and sugary. Now I've been preheating this grill on almost high heat. You want this to be super hot. Then you want to place each lemon sugar side down and let it grill for about 10 minutes. This is also going to help give them a nice charred smoky flavor. So I closed the barbecue lid to keep it really hot and this is what they looked like 10 minutes later. So as you can see here they've become this really nice deep golden caramel color. Grilling any fruit or vegetable will help bring out all of its natural sugars and this is what's going to give our lemonade a really unique flavor. Not only that, they're going to be really easy to juice. So you might want to let these cool down a little bit because they're going to be really hot and then you can just go ahead and juice them with a fork or if you have a reamer you can use that. And make sure you scrape off all the caramel color off each lemon, that's where all the flavor is. The juice you end up with in the bowl should look brown. Now take your simple syrup and add your juice into it. Just pour it all in, I don't know why I used such a small pot today but I'm working on it. Okay now you want to pass this through a strainer to get rid of all the rinds and the mint and all that chunky pulp. And now you want to add some honey. So I have here about 2 tablespoons of raw unpasteurized honey. You can add more if you want your lemonade sweeter. And then I'm going to add 2 cups of water so that I end up with 1 liter. And that's it guys. You might want to pour this into a nicer pitcher for serving because measuring cups are not classy. Pour this over ice, grab yourself a magazine and go out and enjoy a glass of this unique version of what's many people's favorite drink. Hey, you can try it with other citrus fruits too. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more great recipes like this, subscribe to iCook and Paint and don't forget you can get this complete recipe on my blog iCookandPaint.com by clicking the link underneath this video. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my paintings. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon.